Richard de Krepney is a pilot and aviation expert, and I spoke with him a short time ago. Richard, this is an absolute tragedy, and of course a major investigation is now underway. Take us through how that will unfold. Uh, Layla, the investigations are, are standard procedures now. The investigators will get all the information they can about the, uh, the, the systems in place with the government regulations, the procedures that are used at the uh, heliport. They'll investigate the history of the pilots, their knowledge, the training, their experience. And they'll also do extensive research into the human factors, which is how humans behave and how they respond to the environment, which is particularly relevant, I think, in this situation. And only then, when they've got in this information, will they come up with findings. There's always many causes for an accident. It's never one reason. They'll bring out all the findings and with suggestions on how to prevent it happening again. So what sort of things will they be looking at? What are some of the possible factors that, have, that could have contributed to something like this? Well, I, from a procedural perspective, we'd have to question how two aircraft could be allowed to be in the same airspace, one taking off, one landing at the same time. So perhaps there were noise abatement procedures to stop noise over, over the city. Perhaps that was a factor. They'll look into all those things. There's certainly the human factors of why did the pilots not notice each other? You could normally expect the pilots to see the other aircraft unless they were distracted by maybe passengers or something inside a mechanical failure. What brought both pilots to not looking out and seeing the other aeroplanes? It can be very hard to see things that are on a collision path with you. You might see cars having crashing into the back of cars on a highway and you think, how could that happen? But when an object is stationary in your field of view, your brain is not programmed to detect a stationary object. It will get slowly bigger until it ex expands and that car comes through your windscreen. So this, the aircraft that was flying below the other one might have even been sort of camouflaged or invisible to the pilot above. All these factors become important. Uh, even you know, the, the, the colour scheme of the rotors on the helicopter, the, the paint scheme on the helicopter itself, they'll go into all these factors. It is an incredibly unforgiving industry and, and the pilot of the second aircraft, the, the chopper, that managed to land safely on the sandbank saved six lives there. As someone who's been in that kind of high pressure situation and you had 460 odd passengers on that flight that, uh, that you managed to land. What can you tell us about what would be going through a pilot's mind in a situation like that? Well, QF32 was a team effort and the team did a great job. But I totally commend the expertise of that pilot who would be in a, a fear response of fight, flight or freeze after the rotors had penetrated the windscreen of his helicopter, for him to aviate, to keep control of the aeroplane and to fly it down onto the hard surface so that every passenger could get out. That is really exceptional flying. And I have great sympathy for everyone who's suffering du during this event. I have two friends who perished in the Air Force in mid-air collisions uh, in separate incidents. Uh, these are terrible events and we have to find out why they happened and stop them happening again. So how that leads me to my last question, I mean, how do we do that? We let the investigators take their time. They, they will traditionally put out a first report in 30 days telling us what they know. The closing part of the investigation could take months or in, in the case of QF32, years. But they are professionals. They'll find out all the root causes. They're not looking to ascribe blame. No person goes to work to say, I'm going to crash an aeroplane. This is a terrible tragedy. Uh, something's gone wrong. The investigators will highlight that. We will learn. We'll adjust the system to stop it happening again. Thank you very much, Richard. Thanks, Leila. Yeah, pilot and aviation expert Richard de Krepney.